Hi, I'm Seamless, and I don't know what number 75k this is, but this one was requested by Daot, 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 and this is a sound from a band called Dead Meadow, and it sounds like this. And this is what I got. So this is actually a whole genre of music referred to as uh, either stoner, rock, or stoner metal, but whatever. Actually, I'm going to say right now, if you want to make a request, do so in the Reddit thread. Requests made anywhere else would be ignored. I usually make that request, that statement at the end of a video, but there's still some huge percentage of people who still do it. I know I took that request from Muzzy, but he's Muzzy. So anyway, this sound, the sound design about this is not deep at all. It's just the biggest distortion in the universe is just short of just being a full-on square. And the only reason why it's not just doing this forever is because I didn't want the noise. And I got rid of the noise by inching it away ever so slightly and then tensioning it all the way down. This is essentially a noise gate. You can even tell, actually, in the original recording of the band that I'm doing here, that the very beginning, that they had a little bit of that going on. Now, um, bleh, so that's just this, and then it's just a guitar rig with a uh, amp in it, like an, an amp cab. That's all. That's all that's happening. But the, there's a secret about this. The secret is actually how you play the guitar. It's not just that you're playing the notes. It's that you're playing the notes on the lowest string. It's the big, round thickness of this bottom string that makes it that kind of a round sound. Stupid buzzwords, I know, but we're getting there. So, like, if even if I play the same notes on other strings, it doesn't have the same quality. See what happened there when I played the lowest string? Here's just... Here, I'm, I'm in drop C. But here's, here's the uh, high C string. Here's C on the G string. And then here's that same C on the low C string. And the right, that right there is that entire sound. This is an entire genre of music referred to as stoner metal or stoner rock. This might be stoner rock. But like, there's plenty of stoner metal bands that just sound just like this, and this is all they're doing. They're just pushing it hard. Now, I'm doing other stuff on the guitar as well, for example. It's on the middle pickup configuration, which is to say that it's both pickups at one time, not just a bridge or the neck. And I'm also got the tone all the way off, which is to say that it's basically low passing the sound. You can see actually what happens when I do it. Versus. It brings it down a whole bunch. And so it's really just taking those lower harmonics and that's all it's being distorted. So that's why we get a much, it sounds a lot more like a, like a, just a regular square wave because of that, because it's not enough, there's not enough um, higher harmonic information for it not to just distort the fundamental tones and the first couple of harmonics hard enough that it just comes out like that. Um, yeah, so that's the entire secret behind that tone, that guitar tone. I'm not giving you anything about this because there's nothing about this that there is really to give you. Um, this whole thing is literally just like, if this were default, just make a wave shaper, put a point, go all the way up, and then go like like a teensy bit over, and then dump it all the way down so that you get your gate. Ta-da. And then get a cabinet, it's pulse, it's pulse response. It really, it really doesn't matter which. I mean, this is a bass cab. No, it's not, it's not a bass cab. Where's the bass cab? Bass. I know you exist. I've seen it before. There you are. Wait, did you just leave? What the hell? All right. Not a lot better, honestly. Just find an impulse cabinet response, and then you've got that. Or just low pass it, honestly. Because coming out of there... Woo, that's loud. It comes out hot, but, you know. There's that sound, which I've definitely heard me thing before. You can just you know, do one of these. Actually, one, one special thing I like to do is use one of these, the really hard uh, low passes, and then do a really hard uh, high shelf. High shelf. 
and do like one of these. tune that is i haven't tuned this thing in three months ever tune bridges motherfucker ever tune br there it is that right there yeah anyway so this is as long as you got a guitar is this tone is just ultimate simplicity in fact it's probably harder to do this with like traditional actual anal like analog guitar gear than it is to just do this digitally like i just i just removed the guitar rig from the equation <laughs> is, and, and this first EQ isn't doing anything. It's literally just distorts super hard and then like low pass kind of hard. And you've got guitars. And I'm using a guitar, so that helps. But um, you can also just take guitar samples. You don't even really need good guitar samples because you're distorting it so hard. And if you really, really want to get into it, you could probably synthesize this, which probably you, the guy who asked this, wanted me to do. But I feel like that's a waste of time given the, the state of the world that we're in right now where guitar dry sample libraries are just everywhere and really yeah <laughs> anyway um also i just want an excuse to break out a guitar if you have any questions about this please let me know don't forget to like comment subscribe and other good stuff and as usual have a nice day